Okay, I am from group number one. Our group choose topic about metal. What is the metal? A metal is a material, an element, compound or alloy. There is typically hard when in solid state. Shiny and has a good electrical and thermal conductivity. Uh, metal are usually malleable. That is, they can hammer or press permanently into shape without breaking or cracking. A metal has a two types. Uh, first, uh, ferrous metal and non ferrous metal. Let's talk about cars, which is one of many technology pieces that use metal as their material production. On average, 900 kg of steel is used per vehicle. The steel in a vehicle is distributed as follows, based on total vehicle curb mass. 40% is used in the body structure, panels, doors, and trunk closures for high strength and energy absorption in case of a crash, while 23% is in the drivetrain, consisting of cast iron for the engine block and machinable carbon steel for the wear-resistant gears. 12% is in the suspension using raw high-strength steel strip, and the rest is found in the wheels, tires, fuel tank, steering, and braking systems. Hello everyone, I'm Aung Huzan and I'm going to share you about the use made of metal in a car. Now, there's not all part in car we work, we use metal. It is because we want to create a lightweight car to speed up in the road and we want to decrease the gas consumption. So what part that's contain metal? I just list of five common parts that we use metal in car. Firstly is car body structure, second is car engine, third is wheel in exhaust car and finally car steering wheel. Okay, uh, hello everyone, my name is Max Reiner and today I will show you which part of car is a uh, ferrous and non-ferrous metal. Okay, so first we will look at the inside of the front bonnet. Okay, we can look at here. Okay, first we will look at uh, ferrous metal. So at here we will look at the engine car. Uh, the engine car has rust. So if it has rust, we can say it is ferrous metal. Uh, engine car is made of uh, cast iron. Okay, the second example is car battery, uh, which is. 60% of car battery is made of lead, which is uh, a non-ferrous metal, which is uh, very high resi resistance to uh, corrosion, so it has no rust. Okay, that's all example from me. Thank you. Hi, today I want to share about advantage of the metal. Metal is hard and strong than plastic, and then resistant to heat. Next metal can go through a with the range of processing including chipping, welding and soldering. Metal is more cost efficient when it comes long term high volume line of production. The example of production is car. Hello guys. Okay, now let's know about the disadvantage of the metal. First, some metal is easy to rust. It is because the metal that exposed to the A which has caused a reaction. Second, the performance of the metal will be poor. The part of the car that using metal cannot do the action properly. So, the part of the car must be changed. Third, to change the part of the car, the cost of manufacturing of the product is high. So, to ensure that the metal does not rust and is durable is to use plating and painting metal. In conclusion, there are actually many use of metal in everyday life. As a clear example can be shown, various metal are used in producing a car where it becomes an important element It's making the frame of the car itself. Therefore, this metal material was very well for something to enjoy. That light lifespan of something or those last for a long period of time. Thanks for watching. Thank you.